it's very important to me to live a life that God created me for. And the reason why is because it's going to be hard to find happiness when you're not doing things that he put inside of you to do. For example, once I became a wife and also a mom, those things made me happy, but they didn't complete me. Once I started having my husband in the church, that also brought me happiness. When I went to college, which was one of my major achievements because of my background, I felt that that was going to bring me happiness. It made me feel good and it also boosted my self-confidence, but that still wasn't it. Not until a couple of years ago, when I started listening to my inner voice and paying attention, it brought me to the place to where I am at now. And I can honestly say that I am fulfilled. I am happy. And I want the same for you. If you haven't watched my previous video, part one, make sure once you get done with this video that you go back and you watch that one too. In this video, I'm going to share three important tips with you. So make sure you stay tuned and watch the full video. Tip number one, don't focus on what you're not good at. When it came to me the first couple of times about starting a YouTube channel, I didn't have any experience of being on camera. So what made me pay attention is that once it came to me, like for the third time, when I paid attention and I did it. And one thing that I have learned in the Bible, it talks about how that the Holy Spirit will teach you all things. And that part is true because Everything that I needed to learn, I have learned. And I know it was only because of the Holy Spirit. And not only that, I do have a deep desire within myself to always do your best. And so when I first started, I knew that I wasn't good at it. But it was a small voice inside of me that told me that I needed to keep doing it. And I'm glad I did. So don't focus on what you're good at. Tip number two, learn as you move. When you don't know how to do something, don't just cancel it out. The more you do something, the more chances are that you are going to become better at it. It's like you're building a muscle. For example, with myself, I didn't know anything about creating content, but I noticed it's like once I start doing it, over and over. Thoughts will come to my mind of different things that I need to try to do or even when I will be looking at other YouTubers videos and watching some of the things that they were doing with their editing. I noticed what I like and I learned how to do those things. Learning as you move for me was very impactful because it helped build my self-confidence. And it let me know that the more I do something, the better that I will get at it. And just that right there, it motivated me to want to do it more so that I can get better. One of the main experiences that I have learned is that sometimes you can have a hidden gift inside of you and you don't realize it's there because it's hidden. And the only way that it's going to be revealed is until you try something different. So if something comes to you and it tells you that you should try doing a particular thing and you don't feel like you should because you don't know how to do it, you will learn as you move. The key to it is just to get started. Don't cancel it out because it don't fit your personality. Deep down in my heart, I have always had a desire to motivate and to encourage others. I also wanted to be a motivational speaker, but I could never see myself actually doing it. And it's because of fear. I have a fear of public speaking. So even though I had that deep desire inside, I canceled out doing it because of my personality. I don't know why, but it's like whenever I have to do something that have to do with the public, I become very anxious and also nervous. And it's like it's hard for me to just 
relax and to be myself and, and to let the words flow that I need to say. So what I have personally learned, don't cancel something out just because it doesn't fit your personality. If you have a feeling that it's something that you want to try and you're not for sure if it's God's will for you to do it or not, you may wonder, okay, how will I know if it's God's will for me? The best thing that you can do is to wait. And the reason why you want to wait I have recently learned this, that if I learn how to wait and if it's God's will, some kind of way that same particular idea is going to come back to my mind. Our God will send someone to me and confirm it. The main thing that I want you to remember is to don't focus on what you're not good at. Learn as you move. Don't cancel it out because it doesn't fit your personality. If you like my message, support me by subscribing to my channel and also click on the notification bell. That way you will be notified every time I upload a video. I have a Facebook group called Chat Slip Full and it's about self-development. So if you want to improve yourself or if you just want to connect with me one-on-one, -on -one, join my Facebook group. I would love to help you.